right. Um, let me go back to the slide. Okay, so I kind of uh, broke uh, the definition of research into three uh, questions. So basically, there's three steps, general steps when we uh, when we define uh, research. Uh, it first is posing a question: uh, what we're trying to solve, what's our problem statement, or what 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 are we trying to uh, uh, to figure out um, uh, what, what's our problem and then collecting the data to answer the question. Uh, so basically that will be our data collection stage where we kind of uh, collect relevant data to, uh, to kind of, uh, uh, and I'll, I'll talk about that later on, there's uh, um, collecting whether it's uh, quantitative data uh, taking a survey or kind of uh, what data collection uh, we do and then uh, presenting an answer to the question. Uh, so I will talk about different types of research. So there is uh, basic research and uh, basically that's not the typical thesis research or research that we uh, 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 um, structured research that you would uh, do on a, in a school setting. It's a research that kind of uh, tries to solve uh, a basic problem. And then we have uh, applied research. Um, and then we have qualitative uh, research and quantitative research. And I'll talk about each one of uh, these types. Uh, so basic research is basically uh, done to kind of enhance, uh, like for knowledge enhancement and kind of like just uh, generally, that's kind of uh, some of, some of, uh, some of you fall under is uh, you're trying to kind of um, uh, trying to improve the welfare of uh, humans or trying to I uh, kind of uh, identify the benefits of uh, of uh, of some of the earlier programs. So that so that's kind of like uh, where this falls under. So uh, it's kind of uh, to enhance enhancement of the earlier programs and uh, and uh, and that's more like what. Uh, this falls under. And then there's the applied re, uh, um, research, which is basically uh, designed to solve a problem in the modern world in a, in a larger scope. Uh, and um, basically it focuses on uh, analysis uh, and social, uh, like improving uh, social and real life problems. Um, and I actually came up with a few uh, examples, improving, uh, uh, for instance, improving agriculture crop production, uh, uh, treating or curing a specific disease or improving the energy efficiency of homes. Um, so you uh, could uh, further classify into two categories, problem-oriented research and problem-solving uh, research. Uh, so now we're going to talk about the two types of applied research. So prob problem oriented research is uh, uh, most likely uh, done in the industry, uh, uh, sorting out problems that are um, that are f faced by a company, a company or uh, several companies. And uh, there is an example of. Uh, uh, WTO provided problem oriented research for developing countries, um, developing countries agriculture and processing uh, food export, developing authority, conducting regular research for the benefit of agri industry. So basically, agri industry in the um, in the in uh, like uh, uh, developing countries, and then there is problem solving research which is basically done uh, 
uh, by individual uh, companies. So typically it's just focusing on the problem that that typical company is, uh, is facing. Uh, and then we have uh, qualitative research. Uh, so qualitative research is, uh, is basically uh, presents non-quantitative type analysis and uh, is used for collecting, uh, analyzing, interpreting data um, overall. So there's three uh, types of qualitative uh, researches. There is uh, phenomenology and ethnography and uh, phenomenology. Uh, um, so uh, phenomenology is the type of research in which the researcher uh, attempts to understand how one or more individuals experience a phenomenon. So like for instance, uh, interviewing 20 victims of a disaster. Uh, so that would be uh, uh, a, f a phenomenology research. So I am uh, having difficulty reading the name. Uh, the second one is ethnography, and that type of uh, research uh, basically uh, focuses on describing the culture of a group of people. So. Uh, a culture uh, sharing the same values, attributes, practices. Uh, the researcher, uh, basically an example, the researcher might, may decide to go and uh, live with a tribe in an island and study the culture and educational practices. So that would be a, an example of ethnography. Uh, the third uh, uh, one is the pheno monology, and it is a form of quantitative research is providing detailed account of one or more cases. And then we have quantitative research, which is uh, basically uh, the research is, um, uh, is quantitative, so it's based on the amount of data uh, and kind of the um, uh, statistics uh, uh, of the data. Uh, so it's developed, uh, um, that's something that I kind of uh, think where my research uh, kind of uh, uh, fell under a little bit. It, uh, it's, uh, it's used to develop and uh, employ uh, mathematical models, theories, or hypothesis pertaining to phenomena. Uh, so these, uh, let me try to move this down this far. Um, so, so I kind of came up with seven uh, significance of uh, research. So basically the significance of research is to gather necessary information uh, to make changes, improve, uh, improving standards of living uh, for, uh, for a safer life, to know the knowledge, explore the history, and understand the arts. So that's kind of uh, generally what the significance of research generally means. Um, go to the next one. So I uh, came up with a little uh, timeline uh, with the typical process typical research process uh, and the stages of, uh, of research. So your first stage would be selecting a research area, uh, which I think many of you uh, have done that uh, uh, step. And then formulating um, a research aim objective and the research question or developing a hypothesis. Uh, that would be your second step. And then uh, going further in and digging deep to see what studies were done in the past by conducting a literature review and then determining from that point, determining uh, your uh, selecting the data collection method that you will be using, uh, whether you're gonna be taking a survey or 
uh, or sending out surveys, depending on what your research is basically. And then um, collecting the data and then analyzing it, and then reaching a conclusion, and then uh, uh, wrapping up the research. Uh, so, so these are a few generic steps involving a research process so that I'm trying to, do. okay, let me keep it here. Should I keep it in the bottom? Uh, so first you wanna formulate your question. Uh, what, what problem you're trying to solve? Uh, what's, what's, what's the intention of this research basically? And then uh, you get background information uh, and then you refine your research topic. So this is typically refining your research topic would be if you're actually, um, I mean, I, I think more, more likely uh, done um, someone who's, uh, who's working on a thesis, but uh, uh, usually if you're, uh, you're in, your, your research topic is, uh, it's, uh, I, I mean, it's cl it's clearly if you, if you're doing a basic research, then that's uh, uh, something that uh, you don't have to worry about. Uh, consider your resource options, depending on what resources you have. Uh, sometimes we have limited resources, so we need to kind of uh, see what options we have out there, and then uh, select. Uh, selecting the appropriate tools, uh, using the tools, uh, locating uh, your materials, analyzing uh, your materials, organizing and then uh, writing and then uh, uh, composing your bi uh, bibliography, making sure that you uh, kind of every uh, like all the previous studies that you uh, discussed that you kind of give uh, the credentials and uh, and create a uh, bibliography uh, with all the uh, literature and all the articles that you uh, that you read, that you reviewed. So I uh, came up with nine criteria for a good research. I'll kind of quickly go through them. So the aim. Of, uh, of the research should be uh, clearly mentioned along with the use of common concepts. Uh, it should have, um, also it should be adequately described in order to permit other researchers to, re uh, so this is more like a methodology uh, to, repeat, uh, to repeat the research for, for the advancement. It's kind of like documenting everything you did in your research and uh, uh, clearly so that, um, so that if someone would read your research and actually uh, go through the steps of your methodology, they could uh, reach the same conclusion, uh, hopefully. Uh, and then the third uh, is um, the research uh, procural design should be carefully uh, planned to obtain results that are objective, uh, as possible. So, um, and then the fourth step is uh, report, uh, it should be sincerely reported by a researcher to correctly estimate their effects upon the findings. And then the data analysis should also be adequately uh, adequate to reveal its significance. Uh, the methods used during the analysis should be appropriate. And um, the reliability of, of course, the reliability and validity of the concerned data should be checked carefully. Uh, so making sure that the data you have is a valid and uh, reliable data uh, source, which is very important. And then the conclusions uh, need to be, uh, are needed to be confined and limited to only those data which are justified and adequately provided by the research. Um, and then the ninth is uh, the, in case the researcher is experienced and has a good reputation in the field of research, 
greater confidence in research is, uh, is warranted. So the more uh, researcher is experienced and has uh, and knows his field, uh, the, uh, the greater confidence they would have uh, in what they present. Uh, so some uh, problems encountered by researchers um, are, so let me, I'm kind of, I'll go through them. So that there's a lack of uh, scientific training, uh, one. A lack of confidence. A lot of uh, researchers sometimes they give up on their topic after failing uh, a few times. So it's important to stay confident and patient uh, while doing uh, research or trying to solve a problem. Um, having insufficient interaction uh, interactions, uh, lacking uh, lack of code of contact uh, conduct. That's something that. Uh, uh, we should uh, try to be uh, careful about and uh, inadequate um, assistance and uh, improper library management and high uh, cost of publishing. So that is uh, it. Uh, Thank you. Uh, does anybody have any questions? None from my end, just Jacques All right, Jacques for uh for this quick overview. So uh, let's go around and share a few things we learned, inshallah. Let me uh, pause the recording here.